I am so mad, but I'm happy at the same time that all right, is this the just Jazzy East channel now? Are we on a are we on the right channel now? Y'all gotta let me know. It's not me, it's YouTube. It's not me. Are we on a, let me know before I start cooking this chicken if we on just Jazzy Eats or are we on just Jazzy channel? Because we're supposed to be on just Jazzy Eats channel. We on the right channel now? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Okay, okay. <sighs> now I ain't saying this. The comment section, let me tell y'all. Let me be very clear, right? Because y'all, y'all, I be wanting to have faith and trust in y'all, but sometimes y'all, y'all confuse me. So let me tell you something. I specifically said, I have an eating channel. This channel has everything to do with cooking, eating, food reviews, food ASMR. So if you don't like things like that, I said, don't subscribe to that channel because that's what it's about. You know what y'all did? Y'all came over here, subscribed, and started cursing me out. I don't like the sound of eating. I hate what people eat. I hate what people chew. I hate what people cook. Bitch, I told you not to come over here. I said, y'all, you know what? I'll take it that that's just what the world is about, right? So I'm live over here because we are about to cook chicken live. Y'all know how I am about my chicken, right? So I am craving some crispy fried chicken with some hot sauce and some ranch. That's why I got the biggest back you ever seen in life. This this back won't be big. At this point, baby, <laughs> I'm just going to stay big. Because I a nigga ain't, ain't never said your stomach too big for me. He, they ain't say it yet. So at this point, I'm just, you know. Anywho, we're going to be frying chicken. If you guys never ordered from Amazon Fresh before, I'm, 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 I'm going to be the first to tell you. This is the chicken you get. The chicken is $9.99. And then that picture is going to look real big. It was hard finding you here. It was? Why? Why are they doing that? But I like it here. It's not a lot of people. I could read the comments. I could interact. I'm so excited. I got to calm down. But anywho, when you look on Amazon Fresh, you're going to be hyped. You're going to say, girl, I got this big thing of chicken. And I'm hyped for only $9.99. Baby, this is the chicken you're going to get. This this what they send it. And, and you thinking in your head, this is a lot of chicken. Baby, this a bag full of air. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Yeah. So if you can see the kids aren't home, that's why I'm frying this chicken. This chicken is chicken for one. Okay? This ain't enough. I'm gonna show y'all the chicken. And then they pissing me off. Cause usually they don't come looking like dinosaur wings. And to all the people in here, y'all know I, I'm not racist, I'm not prejudiced. But to all my people, y'all about to be pissed because I'm washing this chicken. And it is. It is. Wait, you, you think they play? Wait till I flip this camera and show you how many pieces of chicken is in here. You, you, you think so? So, what my mama would have did, right? My mama... Would have threw this chicken in the sink and she would have rinsed it off with some water. I'm not, I'm not my mama. I'm not my mama. So I got me a little vinegar. And I'm going to pour some of that on there. I'm going to pour some vinegar on there, Bookie. And you're going to feel the difference in your chicken when you pour the vinegar on there. I got some lemons, but is it cut up yet? Because I, I ain't going to cut no lemons right now. But let me say... Put some vinegar on that chicken. And if you squeamish, use some gloves. But I ain't got no more because my kids thought it was water. It, it was water balloons. So they put them in the tub. Okay? And if you got time, soak them. I don't got time. But you will feel the difference in your chicken after you clean it with the vinegar. And maybe it's just a mind thing too. Like, the chicken been all over the place. I, got, I don't have lemon or lime juice. I got fresh lemons in there. But... I don't feel like cutting it, Pookie. It's a lot of work. And, and, and we not, we not putting our chicken in the sink no more. We not doing that. We, we not doing that. Okay. Y'all gonna be pissed when I flip that camera, this camera over. Let me wash my hands first. 
and I gotta put my soap in here and I because one thing about my kids if you put the whole dawn up here tomorrow you will have no dawn my kids will use a whole bottle of detergent a whole bottle of detergent to wash dishes oh my shirt y'all know I'll be going well I don't think this one maybe it is but I go to five below and I always get a shirt and I cut it up into a crop top. Because you, you, I got more gut than butt. But you ain't going to tell me I'm not going to wear a crop top. I don't care what nobody said. And, and it is. Every, every chance I get. So y'all ready for me to flip this camera so y'all can see this chicken? Because y'all going to be flabbergasted. Y'all all, all going to be flabbergasted. Let me get the Cheetos out my sink that my kids left. <sighs> Look at this damn chicken, y'all. Hold on. Let me flip my camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Look how many. Okay. Remind you it was ten dollars. Do y'all think this is good for ten dollars? Maybe y'all think so. Y'all think this is a good this is good enough chicken for ten dollars? Be honest. Hmm? What we thinking? And this is what Amazon Fresh is gonna send you. I just don't like this is the part that that grinds my gears. Why? Why? Why would you ever think I want a chicken this big? This is a turkey wing. Okay. And when y'all watch my videos, right? Y'all be like, Jasmine, you put so much seasoning in the chicken. It got to be salty. I promise you it's nowhere near salty. It's not that I put a lot of seasoning. I just use a little bit of everything. And that's going to make your chicken hit different. You wonder why that nigga keep cheating on you. And I keep telling you, it's not that you're your cootie bad. It's not that. I mean, your pH is a little off. But that ain't why he cheating on you, right? Your pH is off. It's not because of you. It's because of him. Right? It's because your chicken is so bad. It's so horrible. He really thinking... Somebody told you that salt and pepper was going to suffice. And it's not. It's never going to be enough. You cannot just add salt and pepper and think that that nigga going to want to stay with you. It's not. And when they said a way to a man's heart, what they said again? A way, I was about to say a way through a, man, a man's heart through his ass. That's, that's gay. Um, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach, not his balls. So mustard is a game changer. You got to add the mustard. And let me tell you how you know when you got cheap chicken. Y'all see it wasn't no water in there. This shit make its own water. That's how cheap this chicken is. They giving you these big old nasty turkey wings. I done pulled the water off. Watch it be full of water again. It's just ridiculous, honey. And I know a lot. Let me tell you. If you ain't never been more intimidated in your life, you will be intimidated by cooking some big pieces of chicken. Because it, 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 it's not bee wings, though. No, no, it's not. You know a, bing wing, a bee wing where you see. Look at this. It's not a bee wing. These ain't bee wings. I would have threw them in the garbage. Because the one thing you ain't going to make Jasmine eat is a bee wing. But these are really huge wings. Now, if this was bee wings, it would be distorted. You'll see the bones sticking out. These, these are not. But they some big ass chicken wings, I'll tell you that much. And they played in my face for $9.99. Right? So don't be intimidated by big wings as long as you got this. Come on now. Come with me. Come with me. I gotta be moving around. Y'all see my handy dandy pot that's burning. Because I thought this was goddamn, y'all. I thought this was fresh oil, but it's not. Uh, yep, yep, yep. This is the oil I used the last time. You see the chicken from last time burning. It's burning at the bottom, Bookie. So you know the oil is ready because it's burning. Look, that's how we know our oil is ready. So I'm going to take the flour. I'm going to throw it on top of the chicken, right? We want it covered in flour. It should look like this. And I'm going to mix that in there real good. If they still made plastic bags, I definitely would have had a plastic bag. This oil you hot as shit. This oil a little too hot, Bookie. All right. This shit gonna be burning Jasmine house down on live. This oil a little too hot, Bookie. But it's all right. 
We're going to turn the fire off and let the oil cool down. So. That's it. Hot as hell. My smoke alarm about to go off. Not the first time I decided to go live and cook chicken. My stove wanted to catch on fire. So this stove, that 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 oil was hot as shit. So when your oil is too hot, don't panic. Don't panic. They not gonna cook too fast. You know why? Because we turned the stove off. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna regulate the temperature. It ain't gonna cook fast, Buki. I promise you. Right now the oil is just too hot. Oh, yeah. so this drives me crazy. Where's my the oil is hot. It was too hot. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the fire off and just let it get to the right temperature and then turn it back on. I'll be cleaning up as I cook. I can't help it, girl. Dad, you see this? This is the part where you turn it back on. Don't turn it on all crazy high. Just turn it to the temperature you want. Now, this used to blow my mind. My mother had a Caribbean home attendant, and she used to do this. I don't know where she got it from, but listen. She used to take the top and sit it over her fried chicken. She used to put it on top of the fried chicken. And I used to be like, why are you putting the top on the fried chicken? Girl, that's how she did it. Now tell me, I don't know, maybe y'all know something that I don't know. Are you supposed to put the top on the, um, the fried chicken like that? What are you making with the fried chicken? Nothing, because it's only for me. Um, Not a damn thing. My kids want pasta, so I'm going to be making them pasta. But I'm craving fried chicken. Let me tell y'all what really happened. I wanted chicken. And I said, oh, it's only me in the house. So let me go on Uber Eats and get me, like, you know, six wings. Bitch, the six wings was like $9.99. I said, that's cool. By the time I got to check out on Uber Eats, it was $32. It said tax, tip, service fee, rainy day fee, for my mother fee, for my father fee, because my baby daddy ain't give me child support fee. I said, oh, hell no. Hell no. I bet you I will go in my own damn kitchen and fry some chicken. Let me um read the comment section. Jazzy, how old are you? How old am I? I think I'm either 32 or 33. I'm one of them. I got to look back at my last birthday stuff don't judge me because i can't keep up i can't keep up and at some point i'm gonna stop counting because um it's a lot to keep up with okay i really want to do this right now because it's really really on my heart so because we have 257 people in here and to show my appreciation for 257 people that showed up, you guys know that I have my own business called One on One with Jazzy. And that's where I teach people how to earn income using their social media. So it's it's supposed to be $300, but I knocked it down to $150. And I know some of y'all going to be like, uh, 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 people should have $150. The reality is a lot of people don't even have $50 to spare. Like, times is real hard out here. 
And although my other influencer friends feel like, girl, you already charging a cheap price. I'm not giving out no free game. I really feel like I'm not trying to cater to the audience that got money. They already got money. What they need more money for? If they got money to spare on the class, they got money. So I want to help the people who can afford it, who really want to do content creation, but they can't afford it. And let me tell you something. I'm not going to hold you. Being a content creator is lucrative. It's money to be made once you get there. Once you get to that point, you can make as much money as you want. I don't know if y'all was tuned into my last live, but the way money work on YouTube is, let's say you have a job and your job pays you $20 an hour and you work 40 hours a week. Every Friday, you know how much your check is going to be because you know how many hours you work. YouTube is like the same thing. They say, hey, we give you $20 per thousand views. And they say, for every thousand views you get, you get $20. So in your mind, you're going to go, okay, I know how much money I want to make. I want to make $10,000 this month. So I know I need to put out 30 videos or 40 videos this month to make the $10,000. And that's just how content creation works. So I want to take this time to give you some free games. So I want y'all to ask me anything you want to ask me and I'm going to help you with it. The only difference between you being able to do this versus a one-on-one -on -one, and our one-on-one -on -one session, I really, really go through your whole pages, your TikTok, your Instagram, your YouTube, your Facebook, and I show you the things you need to change and what you need to do to make money. Of course, we ain't doing that, but I can help you with whatever you help me help with right now. Don't think that no question is too stupid because listen, somebody else is thinking it. I don't give a damn how dumb you think it is. Ask the question. There's no such thing as a stupid question. You can't do what you don't know and you don't know what you haven't been taught. So ask the question. Trust me. Okay. So I got I got the subbies, but now I need to get my watch hours up. Guess how you're going to get it up. You ready for the trick? What I'm doing right now. Going live is the only way you can get your subscribers up without having the subscribers i bet you if you go live right now on your page people are going to automatically come in without being subscribed to your channel your watch hours even if you sit here on live and nobody shows up those count so your your watch time is automatically going to go up go live can someone who just trying to get into come do you recommend them taking your one-on-one -on -one? Oh, because someone who's just trying to come into the game, you recommend them taking your one-on-one. -on -one. It depends. I tell you at the beginning of my session, I don't answer questions that you could get off Google. So if you feel like it's remedial things you need to know, honestly, Google it. These people who y'all be paying for ebooks, no shade, no tea. I'm not buying nobody ebook. They just gave you a bunch of free shit they got off Google. Don't pay for that. They're going to tell you, pick a niche. What about if you don't want a niche? They're going to say, Stay consistent. How do you stay consistent? They're going to say, post three times a day. How, bitch? I got a job and kids. They're going to say, post four times a week. How? I work a nine to five. They're going to feed you a bunch of bull crap that you can literally go on YouTube University and watch it for free. No shade, no tea. Don't post no, don't, don't purchase. Nobody ebook, girl. Especially if it's saying one-on-one -on -one YouTube one-on-one -on -one monetization girl they're gonna say first things first get to a thousand subscribers bitch i know that how do i get there they're gonna say oh get four thousand hours of watch time booky you two told me that for free don't pay for that ebook girl how much yearly income goes into taxes so i go by the 22 percent rule because I do YouTube, I do TikTok, I monetize on Facebook, and I monetize on Instagram. Plus, I do promos. My money comes in a lump sum, so what I do is I give my tax preparer 22% of my monthly income, and she pays it towards my quarterly taxes, or else I'm going to jail. My income really fluctuates. I told y'all, January, I'm not going to lie, I made $30,000 in January. More than $30,000. February? I made not even a, not even 25% of that. I didn't make 10% of that. And that's how life is being a content creator. 
So you really, really have to learn how to budget your money. And let me read your comments before. You need help in editing. Never, friend. Content creators don't like me. This is why I don't have no content creator friends because I'm going to tell y'all what it is. Don't pay for nobody editing class. How did they learn how to edit? Yep, yep, yep. For free off the internet. All you have to do, listen, short form content, download CapCut. C-A-P-C-U-T. Download CapCut. If you want to edit for your long form content, use iMovie. Okay? I know the Android girlies. I love an Android. I love me a good Android. Androids are amazing. But let me be real with y'all. Android have too many iOS systems. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat. They can't accommodate an Android because they have too many operating systems. Hence why your emojis are different. Your fonts are different. The quality is different. These apps cannot keep up with an Android. You need an iPhone. These apps are designed for one thing. The iOS system, the iPhone. Is no way around it. You cannot post content on that Android. I don't care if your Samsung was $800. It's not about the price of your phone. It's your operating system. You cannot post with an Android. It may look good to you, but it ain't going to look good to us when we watch it. Invest in an iPhone. How do I start? Do I just create a YouTube page? That's exactly where you start. Another rule. You should never be keeping your content on one page. You shouldn't just be posting on YouTube. You should be on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram Reels. You should be taking that one piece of content and posting it everywhere. I don't have children. I don't know what would work as a YouTube channel for me. I meet with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who don't have children. Guess what? You're watching the wrong audience. There's an audience. I, this morning, I met with somebody. If you hear, hey, friend. I met with somebody who was 56 years old. She has really great content. She, she's 56. She has two grandkids, but they live far away. It's just her and her husband. She's like, I don't got no kids. I can't be entertaining. I can't. You're watching the wrong people. Why are you in the mommy sector? Do content cater. You know how many 56-year-olds is on YouTube? Do you know how many people in your age bracket is supporting that content who wants to see your content? But you're looking at the wrong people. You shouldn't be interacting with the mommy sector. You can't relate. How many followers do you need to start getting paid off YouTube? You need minimum a thousand. I tried the YouTube thing, but my job is too demanding for me to keep up with it. A lot of people work nine to five. Instead of you trying to create long vlogs, try to create short videos. So do a lot of shorts. Try to work up with that. You need 60 seconds. We have 24 hours in a day. To get a 60 second one minute video. You cannot tell me that's not possible. Throw anything out to me right now. And I'll, I'll give you a video for it. Anything. I don't care. If it's what you do for a living. What you don't do for a living. I don't care if you live in a project. You are SSI. You are welfare. Give me anything that comes to your mind. I bet you I can give you a video titled for it. Well, Lobs got my watch hours up in a month. Yep. That's how you do it. How do I get more subscribers? I have more viewers than subscribers. Whenever you have more viewers than subscribers, you have to step back and think, what did I do wrong? You ever had a short that did 1,000 views? A short that did 2,000 views? 2,000 people showed up to your page. 2,000. Why don't you have 2,000 subscribers? 2,000 people didn't stay because something was wrong. So you threw a party. You threw a party. You had... They showed up. You said, hey, everybody, I'm having a party. Come. You did the hardest part. You got the people to come. But when they got there, you ain't have no decorations, no food, no DJ. It wasn't lit. So everybody left. Nobody stayed. You have to go back and say, what could I have done differently to actually get people to stay on my channel? I think shorts help your channel too. Shorts help your channel a lot. Remember, people' attention span is not that great. Why would I go watch a 10-minute video on a stranger's life when I can go watch a one-minute video on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok about a stranger's life? You know where people go wrong? Let me tell you. I want y'all to remember this. I'm going to pause the comments for one second. Here's where you're going wrong. If you think I want to start YouTube and you started vlogging, you went wrong. 
You think somebody going to get on the internet and say, hey, stranger, I don't know you. I don't even know if you're interested, but let me sit and watch 20 minutes of your life. They're never going to do it. They're not going to watch it. Put out short form content to show people, hey, I'm funny or I can cook or I can clean or I have a story to tell. I'm inspirational. I'm motivational. You know where y'all go wrong? Y'all put the Snapchat filter on and y'all record yourself doing this. It's giving body. It's giving face. It's giving cute makeup. Bitch, I didn't take nothing from that. You cute, but now what? Did you show me a makeup tutorial? Did you do an outfit of the day? Did you show me how you put that look together? Did you tell me? Did you get that outfit on a budget? I took nothing away from this video besides you got a fat ass and a pretty face. And there's nothing I can do with that. That's why your content is going nowhere. You didn't teach me nothing. What's the best app for editing your videos? I like iMovie because I do everything on my phone. Love you and your accent. I got an accent. <laughs> oh, wow. I hear scissors, but you cook it. Oh, we cook your chicken. Does that apply also for YouTube Shorts? 1,000 subscribers and 400 watch hours. No. For YouTube Shorts, you need 1,000 subscribers and 10 million. 10 million views in 90 days. Crazy, ain't it? Do you sign up for anything before you start making money? How do you know you're going to get paid? So if you have a YouTube channel right now, y'all better take in these goods because people pay for this. Open up your YouTube app. Everybody should have YouTube Studio. You should have YouTube Studio. When you go to YouTube Studio, there is a dollar sign at the bottom right side corner of your screen. It will tell you. How many subscribers you got, how many watch hours you got, how far you need to get, where you at, and where you need to be. Once all of that stuff has turned green, you'll get a message that says you are in the YouTube Partnership Program. I just love you, friend. I love you more, Bookie. We have 402 subscribers. Congratulations. That is, a uh, baby, you halfway there, damn near. YouTube teach you for free. YouTube will tell you the basics for free, but let me keep it real with you. Ain't nobody in this world going to tell you besides me. They ain't going to tell you the real. What they going to tell you is what they did, the things that they was doing. Nobody going to get up here and tell you the real tips and tricks that they're using to really win. Why? Because they don't want you to be better than them. They don't want you to make more money than them. They don't want you to get more subscribers than them. Then they think you're going to take their spot. Not knowing this platform's so big, everybody can eat. We could all make money off of it. It's never that serious. But you think they're going to... No. They're going to tell you the basic stuff. And that's about it. So I know this is the time where y'all be a little nervous. Y'all be a little scared. Let us let me set the tripod up so y'all can see. Because this is the part that gets y'all nervous. There's no such thing as how long should I cook my chicken for, Jazz? How long should my chicken be on the stove for? Everybody pans and pots is different. There is no time. Cook it. I know people say when it starts floating, it's done. No, baby. I like my chicken done done. I, I don't want it when it's floating, it's done. You see these are turkey legs. You might think, oh my God, it looks so done. Look at this. You would have been like, oh my God, that looks so done. No, Bookie, that's nowhere near done. Let that chicken cook. Don't be afraid. Stop taking it out so early. He gonna stop cheating on you if you cook it right. Okay, back to the comment section. And it smell good. I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> Fat ass. What iPhone you got, friend? I got an iPhone 14. But an iPhone 13 is good enough for you to use. I only use Android. Jay, good luck, Buki. I'm a boy and I'm trying to learn to cook. Black Monkey. Let me tell you. Best series. Here, here you, you, listen, you got your pen and paper? Because we only doing this free game thing once. I got a job just like you, Buki. That is the most greatest content in the world. Cook with me videos. As a man who's learning to cook. Do you know how viral that will go? Today we're going to fry. I'm you right now. Today we're going to fry chicken. My name is Jay. I don't know how to cook. I've never did this before. But I'm going to take you along this journey with me because I feel like as men, nobody taught us how to get up and get in the kitchen. Let's try to fry some chicken. There you go. Your audience is tuned in right there. 
Question, if you receive SSI and want to start a YouTube channel, does it affect my income? Yes. So, before you get paid from any platform, this is a job. It's reported to the IRS. They send us a 1099 form. You have to put in your social security number. They send you a tax form at the end of the year. You have to pay your taxes. And once they report it to the I, the R, and the S, Social Security will know. They will see you are making extra income and they will cut you off in a heartbeat. Trust me, they will. Yes, you can post content on a Samsung phone. Nobody said you couldn't, Bookie. We not listening. I've been trying to start my channel for the last two years. But I got $50. My courses ain't 50 Bookie. No way around it because I use an Android and an iPhone to see the difference. Of course you are. Um, them shorts is making people money. I love shorts. Now, now, y'all ready for some truth? YouTube shorts ain't making nobody no money, baby. Uh -uh. TikTok, let me tell you something. I posted a TikTok and it got 2 million views. I got paid around $2,000. That same TikTok got about 3 million views on YouTube. They pay me $83. YouTube Shorts is paying you bare cents. You know why? They are smart. They know that these shits is going viral like crazy. They can't run ads on it. They giving you their money. You think they about to give you big bang? They not running no ads on that. They can't make no money off that. So how they going to pay you? They not doing it. They paying you bare cents. But. If you want to get your subscribers up fast and you want to build your audience and your community fast, shorts go more viral. But you not make it, you probably, a long form video, you'll get paid $20 per thousand views. A YouTube short, you get paid about three cents per thousand. You do the math. Do the math. You're so beautiful. I love your lips. Hey, thank you. You sound a little freaky. I'm an older mommy, 53 with 11 and an 8-year-old. There's your story right there. Where your content at, friend? I want to see the chicken. The chicken's still cooking. Friend, you need to log into the wrong channel all the time. Hey, Jazz. I'm watching from New York. Hey. Um. Hey, family. What do you need to get paid for YouTube Shorts after having a thousand subscribers? You need 10 million views within 90 days for Shorts only. Hey, Jazzy. Hey. Okay. I love how real you are. Do you charge to promote Facebook? I'm on Facebook Reels bonus program, and I haven't found my niche yet. Let me tell y'all, friends. I don't know about y'all. But I'm not a niche girl. I, I, I love it for y'all. And I will never knock a person that has a niche. But let me tell you the real. If you built your audience of just cooking, when you get tired of cooking, guess what? They're not going to watch you. Because they only came here to see you cook. Hence why I got a separate channel to be niche because it's all I want to do on this one channel. If I build this channel on just cooking, the moment I decide to do a wig review, nobody's going to watch it. Because that's not what they came here to see. Versus me, I'm a lifestyle creator. So I do a little bit of everything on my other channel. I'm never locked in a box. I can never get bored. One day, I'm giving you a food review, a wig review, a product review, an Amazon review, baby daddy drama. Like, it's nothing I can't do because... I didn't lock myself in that box. But I'm not telling you not to be niche. -y. If you feel like you only want to do cooking, you only want to do cleaning, you only want to do fashion, you only want to do makeup tutorials, by all means, do that. But make up your mind now because when you too deep in, they're not going to switch over. Love your content and honesty. Thank you, friend. You're so relatable. That's why I love you. I love you more. Girl, I know that chicken ready now. See? That's why he cheating, Amber. I, I, Y'all think I'm just in front of this camera? This is real life shit. Amber, go check that nigga phone. And by checking it, don't ever say I ain't teach you nothing. Press, go to messages on your iPhone. 
go to take his iPhone, go to messages, press the three dots in the, the corner. You're going to see a box that says recently deleted. He's fucking round on you because you thought that chicken was ready. And that's the chicken you would have gave him. And when he, as soon as he would have bite it, it would have been bleeding. And he would have went to Shaniqua house with the three kids and her food stamp case is on and lit. And he would have gave her the daddy D. Why? Because you would have gave him that chicken. After all this, I just said, y'all not listening. I'm not just here on YouTube for no reason, friend. I'm trying to teach you how to cook chicken and keep your nigga. Y'all don't listen. How do I do a one-on-one -on -one with you? Email me, my love. Justjazzy6 at gmail.com. Be sure to take Jazzy's one-on-one. -on -one. I did, and it was so freaking amazing. Thank you, beautiful. I appreciate you. How do you decide to charge what for promos or sponsorships? I actually have a whole course for that. Because one thing about me, I get down, I don't play. Today, I made an extra $1,100. Because I'm very anal. When I do a sponsorship, I sign their contract, but they also sign my contract. So I charge for everything. It's deep, but I'm going to just give y'all a little synopsis. If I charge a brand, it, I have my set pricing, but I also charge for you to repost my content. I charge to put the link in my bio. I, if you say, hey, I don't want you working with competitive brands for 90 days, that means you're telling me that I can't make money. So you have to be able to give me money to make up for the money you're taking out of my pocket. I charge a lot of money for promos and I'm very anal. So I did a promo. They reposted my wig video. They did not pay me for that. You breach my contract. You got 24 hours to pay my fee or I'm going to have to take legal action against you. My money was in my account this morning. If you, When you get to the point where you got your subscribers up and you feel like you're ready to make money... Definitely book that session with me because Jasmine gets down. She don't play when it comes to her money. On. Okay. My niece is a content creator. And she keep coming for me because I haven't started yet. Got two channels. I do most of my work on TikTok. You know the battle with TikTok. Y'all hear the word in the street. Y'all hear what's going on. Do I think they're going to ban TikTok? No. They never, they're not trying to ban it. They just want them to sell it. That's all. Are they going to sell TikTok? Remember, TikTok wasn't always TikTok. You've been around for a minute. TikTok was once musically. The app ain't going nowhere. All they're going to do is sell it and change its name. If they change the name. That app ain't going nowhere. But if it do, just make sure you got your eggs in multiple baskets. Because people was making some good money. Let me flip my chicken. People was making some great money off TikTok. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't take that chicken out yet. You think it's done because it's crispy. You think it's burning. It's not burning. Let it cook. Let it cook. You see we flipped it again. You get nervous because the outside look crispy. You think it's done. The middle's still bleeding, Buki. No. Oh, yeah, my, my, my pot is seasoned. That thing done been burnt, reburnt, back burnt, and burnt again. Would you let the kids do a channel? I would if they desire to. Right now, my kids is all my full-time employees or my LLC. My kids edit. My kids do a lot. My kids are in charge of my bookings with my promos. They know a lot and they do a lot. That's how they get paid. If they wanted to start their own channel, heck yeah. I'll let them do it. I just subscribe to your channel, love. I appreciate you. Jazzy, I be whining crazy to just Jazzy and family. Yes, gets down, don't play. We don't do Dallas BBQs, but girl, when I go to BBQs, when they give me them turkey wings, them big ass chickens, I say, please make it well done. And don't let the person next to you think they're cute. Talking about, let me get a henny wing. That's a nigga for you. You go on a date with a nigga, let me get a henny wing. Why are you ordering liquor on your chicken, nigga? You think that's turning me on because you got henny on them wings? That's why I can't mess with niggas. You, you want henny on your chicken, nigga? I don't, I, I don't like a nigga that's too tough. If you don't get you some strip, nigga, I can't, uh-uh.
<sighs> Child needs to start a YouTube ASAP, but be hesitant. I'm a stay-at-home mom, disabled. At, that's that's all the content for you right there, baby. Day in the life of a disabled stay-at-home mom. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all misconstrued YouTube, right? YouTube is the new TV. People don't watch TV no more. They watch YouTube. The same thing with a TV show. When you watch a TV show, they exaggerate their titles. Y'all call it clickbaiting. You have the wrong definition of clickbaiting. When you go in YouTube studio, it says to clickbait. Clickbait means to exaggerate a title. So let's say you walking outside and you like, you vlog it. And you like, oh my God, the sky is so blue today. The title of your video, oh my God, I can't believe the sky. That's how it should go. Now, what's, cl what's clickbaiting that y'all using the wrong definition for? It's saying, I'm about to expose her in the title. And the whole time y'all talking about frying chicken. Now you're just a liar and I don't want to watch your content. I cannot stand people who do that. Oh my God, my baby daddy left me. Whole time you get on the thing and they ain't mentioned nothing about this nigga, nothing about him leaving. Or they just like, yeah, he left me to go to the store. I don't like content like that. Am I saying you can't do that? Yeah, but I don't like it. I don't like it. And now I'm not showing up for your next video. You are supposed to exaggerate the titles. But lying is a whole nother... Mm. Y'all ever seen Chris and Queen? That nigga used to... His title used to be... Queen text me whole time the nigga talking about his shape up. What? No. Hey Bookie, I love your channel. I'm thinking of make a uh, moving, making a move to NY. Mm -mm, girl, don't come here. You don't want to be here. I have seven thousand. So you should be. Are you monetized? Uh, where you get your pot from this pot is so old i think i ordered it off amazon like five years ago this i need a new one this pot is crazy isn't tiktok banned no bookie they're not banned they never banned. why is my views going down i had 2.5 views on youtube shorts now it's gone because remember what i told you you have 90 days 90 days to get to 10 million views every 90 days your views restart you have 365 days to get the 4,000 watch hours if you started in march of 2023 march of 2024 if you didn't make it to 4,000, all of it will be gone question do you get ad money off all ads on your videos i asked google so you get paid the longer the people watch the ads. So the ones that say, you know the ads you be watching that you can't skip and it pissed you off because you real into the video and you want to skip the goddamn ad so bad but you can't skip it. That's automatic money for that creator. But the ones that you can skip, you get a little bit of money and you get even more money depending on how long people watch it. I'm 43 and feel like that plays a role in my channel not growing also. What do you think? I think that you cater into the wrong audience. Make content for people with your age bracket. 43 years old and dating. 43 years old with a husband. 43 years old and divorce. 43 years old with grandchildren. What I do in a day as a 43-year-old? What about you as a 43-year-old? You're more than a 43-year-old. What do you do for a living? What do you like to do? What do you want to do? Do you cook? Do you clean? Play into all of these things to find your audience. The problem is we watching people with 13 kids and 17 baby daddies, me talking about me, and we're comparing ourselves to their content. This bitch got so much baby daddy drama because she got so many baby daddies, me talking about me. I'm just here for the crunch when she bite into that chick. Oh, it's coming, friend. Oh, you, you, you know I gets down, I don't play. So you know that's what we about to do, right? How would you start an inspirational YouTube channel? What do you suggest the first video would look like? What is the message you want to get across? Why? What makes you so inspirational? Saying, God got me. It's inspiring, but mm, that's basic stuff. What about your story? What about you as an individual makes you so inspirational? You got to tap into that and then tell your story. Can you save this live? Yes, friend. 
Okay, so you're gonna smell when that chicken is ready. You see, you see, you smell that smell? Mm hmm. Put your nose to the phone. You can smell it. Y'all be too focused on the color of the chicken. My kids so disrespectful. They didn't even tell me I ain't have no more paper towel. Y'all too focused on the color of the chicken. I'm gonna flip it one more time because I am who I am. Don't worry about that color. Worry about is it cooking, Bookie? And we're gonna take this chicken out. I wish I had some paper towels. That would have been great. I just want to... Let me turn the camera so I can make sure I'm showing y'all. To y'all, it may look burnt. To me, I like my chicken well done, baby. Well, Nice and well done. Y'all can see? See this chicken? That's done. That's done chicken. And I take out all the smaller pieces first. They gave me turkey legs up in here. And y'all about to be so mad when I say this, but I'm a flats girly. I don't, I don't like these parts. The drums, I don't eat those. Now, how long we been on live? Does it tell y'all? Because I know a lot of times y'all say, how long does it take chicken to cook? I had put this chicken in right when we got on live. How long we been on here? That's about how long it should have took you to cook your chicken. Hold on. About to bust my ass tripping over the grill. I'm waiting for my chicken to cool down. You ain't going to have me kill myself trying to bite it to some chicken. Because y'all know we going to do it. Okay, I'm trying to catch up with the comments. That's a long time. So, to you it is. It probably, we ain't put it in there exactly 46 minutes ago. It probably been going for about 30 minutes. So, I did about 15 minutes on each side. And to y'all, to y'all, remember, everybody likes their stuff differently. Y'all, y'all gonna be pissed because I just threw all that flour out. That flour out. I'm not reusing no flour. That raw chicken and been in that flour. Y'all know damn well I'm not reusing that flour. Oh, you're not paying me to eat no drum. I don't. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like no drum. My back is so big because this chicken is hot as hell and I want to eat it so bad. We are gonna see, friends. This is live, so it ain't no, I can't edit the video. We gonna eat it together. I feel like y'all in my house. I like this. You cannot eat chicken fresh out the grease. Your back's small, I could tell. A lot of people reuse their flour. It's somebody's birthday. Happy birthday, AJ. No, people reuse their flour. That's why I, I just wanna eat at my house. Because I know when you reuse your flour. Because when I come to your, your house and cook and you got them hard pieces in that flour. But you done double dipped. You, 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 you done double dipped. We friends in my head, Bookie. Well, I'm not. Y'all y'all don't hang out with me in real life. All y'all got to do is DM me and be like, hey, Jazz. Let's go out. Sometimes I think y'all be wanting to kidnap me and rape me. Because y'all say some weird stuff. And I'll be like, how do y'all want me to respond to that? Realistically, as a human. Like, not as an influencer, just like a regular human. Y'all hit me in my DM. Y'all be like, Jazz, meet me at the train station. What? What? If you want to take my asshole, say that. It's like, y'all have to ease it in. Do something like, hey, Jazz, let's go to the bowling alley. That, 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 that's like, that's good enough for me. Let's go to the bowling alley. Let's go. Let's go out to, you know, a, a bar. Bitch, let's do something pub. Y'all be like, yeah, meet me at the three tray. Huh? What? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Y'all be scaring me. Y'all be, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all don't be talking to me the right way. This is why we don't Y'all know I, I don't mind hanging out with people. It's, it's two rules I got. 
don't be creepy and please don't when y'all start some lady she almost i almost wrote her back this morning when i got to end of her message she lost me she was like hey jazz i'm from new york city i have four kids we both live in the same area i bumped into you a few times she was like i was too shy to say hi but i would love to grab a drink with you i don't get out much she had me she had, i almost wrote her back you know what she said at the end because when we go out I would love to talk about YouTube and how I could get started on my channel. Bookie, you, you, if you worked at Popeye's, imagine I started writing you to my, hey girl, yeah, let's go out. And I want you to tell me how they get that chicken so crispy. I can't wait for you to tell me that Popeye's secret recipe. Bitch, I don't want to talk about my goddamn job. You think that, 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 that ain't what I signed up for? Oh God, y'all be losing me. Y'all be losing me. I'm ready to eat. All right, I got my three pieces. Y'all know I ain't eating nobody legs. I mean, not this channel. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> oh, look what I bought for Dollar Tree. Y'all think this will go good on some chicken? Y'all think this will be good on chicken? <laughs> oh, I like when your back big like mine. If my friends don't get excited about food, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, girl. Because I get excited about food. Damn. They thought somebody was going to steal this. All right. So we got our hot sauce. We got our chili sauce. If this is nasty on this chicken, y'all going to piss me off. Let me prop y'all up in the living room. Hold on. Because y'all at my house with me. Y'all having fun? Y'all having fun hanging out with me at my house? Uh Content creation tip of the day. Y'all ready for this? Make sure y'all got y'all little notepad too, even though we hanging out as friends. I have a tripod. Y'all know I live in a two-bedroom walk-in closet. I have a tripod in every single corner of my apartment. When, when, you see how I just went from that tripod to this tripod that easily? It encourages me to create content. I don't have the most expensive stuff. When I go on Amazon, I see this tripod on sale for $20, I buy it. I got a tripod here, here, there, there, bathroom, kitchen, hallway, so everywhere there's a tripod. How many times you wanted to record content and you like, well shit, I'm halfway done cooking now, how I'm gonna record the video? But if you had that tripod in the kitchen, it would have helped you be more intentional, you would have got that content. I got caught. Now, I'm going to get my chicken. Don't go nowhere. Y'all really in my house right now. Ain't that something? Y'all see my setup? Always got a tripod somewhere. Always got a tripod. We gonna keep a tripod. Is, is, and is. We gonna keep a ring light. We gonna keep a tripod somewhere. Cause we gonna get that content. All right. And I gotta go pick up the kids soon. So I gotta get dressed. And I got to clean up, all that good stuff. All right, y'all ready for this? Y'all want to go to the table? All right, we good right here. We, 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 we good right here. I got the chicken. Uh, yeah, let's do it with the chili sauce. So here's the chicken. The chicken that I just fried with y'all. We got our chili sauce. How big is your pot? It's called the big ass pot. Um, I'm not sure, Bookie. Oh, I'm going to put the chili sauce on it. I'm putting it on one piece. One piece only. Because I don't know how this chili sauce is going to taste. I bought this from Dollar Tree. All right, come on. Don't make fun of me, friend. You know I got BSG surgery. I can eat some chicken wings, but I can eat two, three at a time. I'll eat the, another three in another two hours. Okay. Y'all listening? Y'all ready for the crunch? Okay. We got it. We secure the chicken. Let's rate it. One out of ten. We want to be Keith Lee so bad. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? I'm hot as chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm, damn. Y'all was right. Oh, I got to go back to Dollar Tree for they sell these out. Mm-mm. And it's cook, cook, bookie. Who said dry? Who said not juicy? Mm. 
Who's up? Oh my god. Mm -mm. Mm, I wish I. Oh! Just imagine if your nigga was here right now, you would have been like, Daddy, I made you some chicken. He would be like, Yeah, mom, thanks. And you would have been sitting there with a smile. You know how when you make somebody some food? And you want to know if it tastes good, so you stand there and you like, yeah, you like it. <laughs> he wouldn't have cheated. Oh my God, y'all. All right, one more piece. Mm -mm. Whoever told me to use this, game changer. I can't believe I only bought one of these. I cannot believe. Y'all know that was at the Dollar Tread? Oh, God. Okay, y'all. Girl. Mm. You know your back big when you dance to the food. Mm. Uh -uh. Y'all, that was some good chicken. Charles, your lunch is ready. I, I'm going to end this live here because I got to pick up the kids. But let me just leave y'all with this. If a grown man and another grown man could get on this internet, do y'all know how much money Netta and Charles is making? That grown man. I'm sorry. I'm a part of the LGBTQ plus community and I'm going to respect people for their titles. I don't know what I'm, I'm guessing she prefers to be called she. She got up here in front of this camera and said, Charles, your lunch is ready. And she making all that money to get up here and tell a grown man Charles and that nigga sit in front of that camera going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. With his big doofy ass. Don't tell me what you can't do. There is nothing that you cannot do. You understand me? Put that content out. You put your kids, every time your kids' dinner is ready, I want you to pop up your video and say, KK, your lunch is ready. See how far it take you. But if they can go viral and make money off that, it ain't nothing that you cannot do. You hear me? Anywho, I'm going to end it here because I know y'all tired of me. We've been on here for a whole hour. I love y'all. I appreciate you. Only stay and subscribe if you like cooking videos and anything of eating content. If you want me and my regular shenanigans in life, just Jazzy is over there. I adore you. I appreciate you for showing up. Until next time, family.